Hey, welcome to uh, a video on YouTube by me. <laughs> uh, yes, I I let the hair go. Today is the 1st of March 2021 and um, Facebook reminded me that today has been three years that I've worked at uh, SSB. My instinct was to just reflect um, and make a video at the end because I had some thoughts. Um, at the time I was in um, working in Soweto at Middlelands at Chocomelo Remedial School uh, but I had always been on the lookout for an opportunity to be in high school. If ever we talk about prayer items, I think since I graduated in social work in 2011, um, I it was a constant prayer item. I want to be in high school. I want to be in high school. Please, Lord Jesus, put me in high school. Please, Lord Jesus, put me in high school. Somehow over WhatsApp, um, someone got hold of me saying, hey, there's an opportunity. You want to put in your CV? Then I did put in my CV. 2017 um, interview. I wasn't concentrating. At that time, I was just shook. Guti SSB. So what is this? the building? And those of us, you know, who who attend uh, schooling in the West Rand. Um, school buildings don't look like here. So I was a little bit like, hmm. And I kept looking around for like, where? Where's the sports fields? Where's, where's the things for the children? I think I killed it in the interview because clearly I got the job. But the day before I came here, I said goodbye at Lokomele and it was quiet. I was sad. I really loved those kids. In the hall, uh, they, they whisked me to arrive there in the front from the back. Um, you say, I thought you were a lesbian. Then when I heard the principal say, sir, I was like, I thought you were a strict teacher who doesn't take nonsense, Gandhi. You are not strict. Uh, you just don't take shit and you put people in, your, in their place. So calmly, Mara, we are put gun. Then you go about your day while we sit there and nurture our so trust. Overall, you're a cool dude with swag and no filter. Yes. Why, why must we filter? If filter are you a swimming pool where you need a filter? I sugar. I think it was weird, and I guess now I found out the reason it was weird is that I'm a he and not a lesbian because somehow. And as Nama booty fee chance and maybe my trades. SSB is weird. There are some things you will never ever understand about this place. And then I started. I was scared of you, no lie. I never had a relationship with male teachers except for Mr. Moweng and Mr. Mugabe. So you coming and thinking that Miss Gibbons referred me to you was terrifying. Yeah. That's Lumund day one. Day one, I'm in my office city. Then someone comes and says, Say, this is person, not to have was there. Come, come, come. I'm like, Yo, I need to, like, you know, show that I can do this thing. So I go upstairs, I get to the class, and then this person is refusing for me to help them. Point blank. Ah, the fool me. I'm watching people around me and I'm wondering, Are these people thinking, Yeah, ne? Must be a little dude. But now we are friends. We are close. Did I think I'd be here for three years? No. Do I think I'll still be here for another three years? I don't know. But what I what I do remember is feeling like um, nerves. Nerves because uh, in the majority of my work before then. I had a reputation that preceded me, you know, uh, in terms of working with young people. Like there was a reputation. People kind of knew of me from the streets. It's not that I was a celebrity, but sometimes, you know, someone recommends you or someone knows of stuff you've done. And then, then people kind of know that they uh, have to meet. So I was coming to a place where I don't know anyone. They don't know me. They don't know how I work. And that I'm going to shock them. I'm going to shock them repeatedly. So I, I, I remember distinctively deciding that in my first year, I'm not going to do 
anything shocking. I'm just going to try and fit in, um, observe, respect what I find here. Do my best to not be fired, but to definitely not like, not to do things. Um, because I had felt that imagine if I come into a new space, they don't even know me and then I come there and I change everything, you know, what kind of statement would that make? That would almost assume that I believed that there was nothing good here um, and that I came to save everything. So I'm going to change everything. So I decided, no, I'll wait one year and then change everything. Um, and definitely I saw a lot of things that had worried me, saw things that I that excited me. I think one of the things that I kind of felt made the school special and worth investing in, I think was the untapped potential and that even though these are a bunch of teenagers and they have teenage issues, I think they are self-aware enough that they kind of need to treat each other as some sort of equals. You know, I, I felt like there wasn't much of a hierarchy. I mean, there are cliques, but there isn't much of hierarchy. But what did concern me was the, the lack of self-belief, the lack of demanding a lot, and the lack of curiosity about the world. So definitely I had felt like, yeah, when, 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 when I, when I start to be comfortable and say, let's work, those are the things that I'd want to address in this house. They think you're a cool kid teacher. That's what they call you. Uh, your statuses give me pure joy, the shade, the everything. Yay. Yeah, no. I mean a shade, I'm proud of it guys. I'm very proud. Like I I, 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 I I construct them so that they are impactful. Happy anniversary Sikhle. Woo! And then beep, 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 beep. But it's an emoji, so I guess it doesn't make a sound. It makes a picture of whatever. Um anyway, I thought they let a dreaded and tattered up human in the school. Wow, okay. Let's see how this goes. How did it go? Hey, how did how did it go? How did how did, how did it? Okay. Um, current thoughts. Best thing that ever happened to me in that school. Can't remember the day I started being real with you, but I'm glad I did. Still to this day, I'm pushing to be great because you told me to stop underestimating myself. That's true. That's true. I think when we're young, it's so easy for us to like measure ourselves according to the marks we get. Because our teachers respond to us that way. So when you don't get certain marks, you, you don't think there's any value in you. So definitely my time at SSB, there have been many times where I've had to shock people and tell them, I think you're amazing. I think you're freaking amazing. I kind of knew that if I would be authentically me, um, I would struggle to be popular amongst everyone because of just the way that I am. Uh, and I had to just accept it. I love building relationships. I love advocating for those who have no voice. I love creating discomfort if that's what will help us grow. And I love trusting young people to drive their own story to grow positively. First thoughts. Uh, the dreads, a male counselor. I, Xazo Shubamos. Footy me, I won't talk to him. I, now, a uh, big brother, hat emoji, motivator, hype man, uh, Maguaran. Oh, happy anniversary. Yes, yes. I guara people for the fun of it. But, my Melan, guys, if you've not been guarded by me, there might not be love. Because I know people are sensitive, we can call it like bullying, people can be touched. So I don't just, I don't just do it. If I know you can't take it, I won't do it. Hey, happy anniversary, Mr. Sikla Masego. I thank you, Wenakeo. Hmm, you have a bubbly character. Hey guys, 
badly mean hey uh, you're an inspiration to some of us as students of SSB. Kind, caring, loving, and you've got a sense of humor. Look at this. Look at these guys. You think I'm wonderful. Don't be scared of me. Be scared of the truth. Uh, those were my first thoughts when I first saw you at SSB and still my current thoughts. The work that you are doing, sir, is extremely amazing. How? Um, bonga. I have just met you this year over this short period of time, but I am very impressed with your amazing work. You are one of those I look up to. Keep up the good work, say. I'm gonna keep it up. And then while it's up, you're gonna come up and join me because I'm a standard and not only for me. I think you're a superstar. You know who you are if you're watching. So what 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 was what else was I just nervous about? I was nervous that the way that I love creating relationships with young people would make people uncomfortable. So I was not shocked when people looked at me and I guess me being lesbian would mean that I'm female so I can be trusted <laughs> or those who believe that maybe I was homosexual would mean okay I'd be in touch with my feelings so I can still be trusted um, so I don't take offense in how people thought I was because um, I think it's possible it just helped them make sense of why would a black male with dreads and tattoos come to a school and why would a school make some of the most vulnerable people have to talk to a man you know i get it and um i'm self-aware enough to know that there will always still be questions you know there will still be questions about um can can we trust you with our girls can we can we trust uh, he looks he looks too too kind to, to children can he really be serious with them i'm not i'm not naive enough to believe that all the people who are children trust me and believe me and 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 and, and want to be helped by me i not naive but what i want to always be conscious about is to do good work to love people as best as i can um and to do my best to not prove people right <laughs> you know so it's not my motivation to show everyone that they're wrong about me but it's more to be like i understand your concerns i understand your skepticism so let me not be a man who is trash let me not become a predator let me not have high school affairs because that would damage everything um, at first, I was scared of you and never thought I'd knock on your door to chat. Then knocking on your door became my break time hobby. And just like everyone, I also thought you were a lesbian. Yeah, meh. And maybe this hair today is not helping. Uh, this one says, uh, I was on my own world of make-believe, so I hardly noticed anything. But I low-key thought you were going to be strict. Uh, but I'm glad you came to SSB. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad I came as well. Uh, not gonna lie, you scared me, sir. P.S. You still scare the shit out of my friends. Ah. And as Lumont, I went to a whole grade 8 camp with these people. Eh? Ning Sabila, I don't bite. I eat. We, my squad, thought you were super cool and we were excited to have a psychologist that wasn't formal like our previous ones. Yeah, by the way, I'm not a psychologist, I'm a social worker, let's not confuse it uh, before I want to, you know. We liked your vibe, that's why we would come to you and talk about weird things. Hey guys, if I told you the story that these people told me, buzz a in my office. Hey man, if I told you. This one says, there were a lot. I thought you were a lesbian. This one says, uh, didn't even want to see you, bro. I thought I was too cool for you. Happy anniversary. Also, I thought you were a woman. Hey, guys. Is it my hips, guys? Is it my hips? Or is it my, is it, is it, is it my uh, derriere? Hmm? I have a nice one. I was like, a skr skr counselor? No, 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 no. No ways. Now I've seen it all. The dreads, 
the fact that you were male and black and had swagger, I was thinking, talk about breaking all stereotypes and barriers. You were super, super cool, laid back, and just overall amazing, and that hasn't changed yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm ending it on a high note. Now, obviously with these things, it's not like my haters are gonna send me messages. Mshambe, in their WhatsApp groups, they were discussing me today, or Izolo, saying what they really think of me, which is fine. Okay, it's okay. I had to remind myself that my motivation is not always going to make me popular. My purpose is not always going to make me loved. And that there will be times where I need to be okay with being the bad person. And that it's important for me to not wear it with a proud title. That, yeah, I'm always the bad guy. I'm okay with that. No. Um, but that let the occasions where I have to be the bad person not be a true reflection of who I am, but that someone needed to tell the truth and someone needed to be willing to take the shots because the bigger purpose. And in my three years, I've taken a lot of shots. Um, by the time that I leave, there'll probably be like multiple stories, many myths about you know how amazing I was or how terrible I was. But what has always been important is for me to be able to sleep at night with a clear conscience that I've loved God and I've loved his people. And that is important for me. That um, every act I did, hopefully it led people to want to know what makes me different. And that in the end, it is that I'm trying to live um, to represent God well. And I hope that also the way that I've lived out my faith helps a lot of people feel encouraged. Hoping I've been a good vessel that um, hopefully loved well. Like I'm not so concerned about was I a great social worker, was I a great LO teacher, was I, did I make dope videos, did I, did we write good magazines? No, I am more concerned about did those that I had to show love feel it and know it and experience it in such a way that it makes them think, surely God loves me. So let's love God, love people. This is unite.